Things have been a little awkward here today. <laughs> Last night, um, Secretariat got Bob the warm-up comedian's uh, Mythbusters hat. <laughs> and Bob was mad, Bob was pissed. as you can see. <laughs> Good, isn't he? He's so good. You know, when this show's over, maybe if you've got a play or something in your community, he could be in it. <laughs> anyway, now uh, Bob has a Secretariat hat. And Secretariat is now jealous because Secretariat wants a Secretariat hat, but he's now got the Mythbusters hat. I can have a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see if we can sort it out, Dr. Phil style. <laughs> Sorry, I took the long way around the horn. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you can do a decent Dr. Phil, can't you? Yeah, sure, yeah. All right, let's hear it, yeah. All right, Bob, let's hear what happened. <laughs> now, you got your hat taken away by this horse. How does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel hollow uh, and a little sad. Hollow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what about you, Secretariat? Why did you take his hat? I don't I think what he's saying is, uh, no, I'm not talking to you, I'm very high right now. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. So, uh, if you are Dr. Phil, are you actually a doctor? <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> so what actually are your qualifications, Dr. Phil? I'm just a guy with a bald head and a dream. <laughs> if you drag uh, a $20 well, bill through a trailer park, I think we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> They are like Dr. Phil. <laughs> if you put money in a wheelbarrow, it's going to be pretty heavy. <laughs> well, I guess we all learned something. <laughs> things happen when you go further. A little bit down, down a bit. Is, it, is that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, wow. All right. Um, it's really good. A little creepy. That was a little creepy. creepy. Good stuff. All right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peters? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from the untrained monkey of late night comedy, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Winston-Salem in North Carolina. Isn't that, isn't that a cigarette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a fine cigarette it is. Although maybe not. Uh, or the sponsor of the show, it doesn't matter. Forget it, let's move on. No, no, you can't advertise cigarettes on TV anymore. They don't do that anymore. That's no, right. no, no. It's not like the old days when you could say, enjoy your Chesterfield to clean out your lungs. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. <laughs> Get it right in there. <laughs> This is from Mary and Winston's. I used to smoke, you know. Yeah, oh, was that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So did you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I smoked crack. <laughs> That's what happens. All right. 
All right, this is from Mary in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It says, Craig, and also hello to Jeff. I do not like Secretariat's new hat, so can you please take it off him? Whoa, I'm not. Secretariat likes his hat, and Secretariat wants what he wants. If he wants to wear that hat, he's going to wear it. The only hope you've got of getting him to move it, that's right, he's going gangster. Watch, look at him. Oh. Easy, easy. Oh, my God. You'll, you'll hurt your chest if you keep puffing it out like that, man. He's got a strange uh, chest protrusion. Yeah, yeah. So. He flexes his chest when he's feeling a bit gangster. I see. He try, he's trying to throw gang signals with his, with his uh, chest. With his chest. Throwing yeah. gang signals. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> burlesque dancing. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Leanne in Denver. You ever been there? Leanne, sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, she says, Dear Craig, have you ever gotten a sweat stain underneath your show jacket and tie? <laughs> I don't sweat. I'm European. It's <laughs> a vague smell of... Uh, pastries. Pastries. <laughs> I, smell of pastry. I smell like a large croissant. <laughs> A, a baguette, if you will. No, the the baguette is lower. Yeah, I know. Lower, lower. Oh, lower. yeah, lower. Okay, lower. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Do it again. Do it. All right. I'll do it again. The baguette is lower. Put the baguette in the basket. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so delightful when you suddenly lapse into serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is from Marissa in Portland, Oregon. It says, Craig, can you wish my pop pop happy birthday? He's turning 83 today and his name is George. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> <laughs> What's pop pop doing watching this show? Wait Perhaps he could phone in and tell us. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's pop pop. Hello, Bob. Happy birthday. Thanks. You know, I, I got to be this age by smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> and uh, I love your show, and I think you guys are just crazy. I don't care for that secretary in that damn hat, though. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like the hat? Take that damn thing off. It pisses me off. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh, oh, it turns me on. Click. <laughs> what the hell's going on over there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the blue of my there you are, then. I, oh, 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 you decided that now you're going oh, yeah. What about the gold we were throwing down earlier? Yeah, man. What about the great stuff about the uh, do your own joke? And yeah, what about that? No, we're doing nothing. Now we'll have blood. Really? No, no, you stay with you. I don't need your charity, you bastards. <laughs> we're out of here. You won't have us to push around anymore. Yeah! Come right back, And the best-selling writer and one of my favorites uh, in the world. And she smells lovely. She smells great. I just smelled her hair. Oh, what is it? What does it smell? Oh, it smells like victory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's uh, just about to do the final season of Parenthood. Um, she's probably done it. Yeah. It's ready to go. All set. And it starts this Thursday on NBC. Yeah. Woo! Lauren Graham, everybody. in this on this desk well I, I I read it every day just a little chapter <laughs> and I always look at this uh, photograph at the back of your book because it looks like you crouching 
like I'm ready to pounce, like I might hurt you. Yeah, yeah, it's like, buy this or I will cut you. <laughs> How, uh, you look great, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. I like your jacket. Thank you, it's a Yeats poem. On, in glitter on a jacket? Yeah. Isn't that great? It kind of is, and it's horrible yeah. at the same time. Yeah, because why read it when you can just wear it? <laughs> I kind of love this. Uh, yeah. Are there other literary giants available in glittery jacket form? I don't know. Let's start a line, a clothing Oh, I'm clothing sure it's been done. Fashion people must do that all the time. I don't know what those people do. Do you watch Project Runway? Do you still watch Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me too. Do you like Zach Posen? Yes. Ah, me too. I love him. I think I, I wasn't sure I was going to, because when Michael Kors went away, I was like, because we, he, I always yeah. liked Michael Kors did. <laughs> but Wait. then Zach Posen has yeah. got the, I liked what you were, but I kind of didn't. Yes. He kind of talks a little bit and then asks you a question at the end of what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're really an aficionado of the... Project Runway. Oh, yeah. well, I love it. Uh, we've got to get me some Tim and Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's thinking judge. man's football. I what? was a judge on Project Runway. Yeah, I know. I remember seeing yeah. it. Yeah. It was hard to be a judge. It's really challenging. It's a long night and it made me feel sad. <laughs> I didn't like... That's, that's how I feel <laughs> watching Project Runway. <laughs> I didn't like judging the nice people. They look so tired. They're well, working so hard. Well, you don't. What you should do is base your uh, judging only on who you like and who you don't like as contestants. <laughs> just like life. Yeah, just like life. Like yeah. you know, it's fine. Yeah. All right. What hey, have you got there? Listen, I have two things. This was in the dressing room. This was my gift, along with a nice Craig mug, which I have like ten we of. We gave you that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's and the flavor. First of all, it's gravel. Mm. And and the flavor is salty gram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Salty yeah. Gram. Yeah. 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 Oh, huh. oh huh. <laughs> Buy me book. <laughs> Buy me book. Why don't you? Why am I so? Oh, because I'm a pirate. Yeah. Well, salty. salty. Yeah, salty. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. That's right. Har parenthood <laughs> about to go into its final season. <laughs> Final season, you're going to be done and I'm going to be you're done. You're going to be done. And, which leads me to this other thing I brought, and I just thought this was so sweet, because this was, this is probably, I can't even bear to think about it, but I think this might be our last time on this show together. Mm -hmm. And you wrote me this nice note. Oh, well. <laughs> Welcome back, Lauren. <laughs> I admit it is somewhat sparing in its prose, but <laughs> James Joyce, who you are familiar with, of course, I, I, got think, a he, jacket. I think he's got his own jacket lying out, yeah. said sentimentality is unearned emotion, and I agree with him. Hmm. I don't think you need to be sentimental about this, for you and I will go on to greater things. I think we should do a show together. Okay. Um, What's it about? Uh, we're detectives. Okay. Comedy detectives who live next door to each other and have a sort of chemistry, but never really, and you don't know if they're going on, and they might, and then, ah. and one night they get snowed in. <laughs> what, um, what is the name of our show? Um, um, uh, the, the Craig Ferguson Show. <laughs> Call you. Okay. No, you don't think so. But don't no, you think that would be a good thing? We should I do. do that. I, I think there's a lack of comedy detectives out there. There's I, hardly any. No, I want some laughs with my crimes. And, and maybe, maybe we could have. And the crimes should be like not big crimes, right. but like crimes that like who stole this hat? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why do people come to us if they're like sort of meaningless crimes? Because like, what's our, are we good at our job? Not, not particularly. <laughs> but they come to us because we're reasonably priced. Yeah. <laughs> and we're very strict. Oh. With each other. Oh. And we've got a wacky robot skeleton that lives next door. Oh. Hey, 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 yeah. such a long time to get a show on the air maybe we should try like the live show we should like when we're done to go do like a bus and truck and just we like live on a bus and drive to city to city and you know uh, who gets the top bunk if you know what I'm saying who uh, you <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> My goodness. Maybe we should fly <laughs> instead. Okay. 
separately and separate Maybe. airplanes? Maybe. Okay. Co coach? Maybe we should do separate shows and just tell so each other So what you're saying is, I never want to see you again, no. but you're saying it in a nice way. No, I'm deep, I'm very upset. I, I have, I'm having more trouble saying, I know that we're not really saying goodbye, but I have had so much fun with you on this show that I'm truly, you're, look, you're, look, you're giving me the dead eyes. You're like, no, no, no emotion. No, no, I'm just thinking I'm, about that joke in the monologue earlier. Like, no, I'm, <laughs> I am, I'm having more trouble dealing with the end of our time than of my time on Parenthood. Well, <laughs> well not uh, anything bad about no, Parenthood. No, I understand. I totally get it. This has been such a oh, you, you know, you're one of my favorites. One of my top 25. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't you tell from the note? Look what I said. Well, come back. I would like you... <laughs> Signed love, Craig. It's just Craig. <laughs> yeah, but but there's that look. There's a little kiss. There. Not even an O. Just X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? It's just X. Because it's not a kiss. It's X. Rated X. Uh, sure. All right. <laughs> no. But seriously, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What no. am I gonna, What am I supposed to do? I'm serious. I think we should do a show together. Maybe okay. a sitcom. Uh, four camera sitcom, so that we only have to be there a couple of days a week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are we detectives on that? Nah, nah, nah. So it's like, we're just a married couple, and I married you to get my green card, and we were just friends, but now we're falling in love. By the way, this writes itself. Are you yeah, kidding? Kind of, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came from, I came from another country. Thank you. And we were just like friends. Yeah. And I said, oh no, I'm gonna have to. They're gonna deport me. And you said, oh look, I'll marry you. And then, but they check up and said, well, you can just stay in the spare room, and then they get snowed in. <laughs> It's a good idea. And they learn to love each other and be married throughout the show. They, they, you know, they have to. I mean, they got married just yeah. for, but for legals. Sure, I get, but yeah. they, you know, then and what's you know. Call, what's this show called? Uh, marriage of convenience. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really. And they've good. got a wacky skeleton that lives next door. <laughs> Actually, I'm, not... I'm, I'm beginning to get quite serious about this. I know. It's a really good it's idea. It's not a bad idea. It, well, it's it's that movie, but we haven't seen it in a long time. I've never seen For legal reasons, I don't even know what movie you're talking <laughs> okay. about. Okay. It's called Green Card. Green Card, yes. Another name of our show. Well, we could call it Green for... Card, yeah. yeah. But, but it, it wouldn't be for the Green Card. No. It would be for citizenship. Yes. Yeah. Or we could do it the other way around. We could set it in Scotland, and you marry me to say in Scotland. Mm. Does that? Do you have to do that there? Nah, you can stay if you like. Yeah. <laughs> like, aye, come on in. There you are. Here's your potato. Have a great time. I've never been to Scotland. I really want to go there. That could be one of the episodes of our show. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you come back and meet my family who are all gingers. Oh. <laughs> then what happened to you? Why are you not? I, I had my hair dyed at immigration. Oh, on Ellis Island. As oh, I came God. through, they're like, no, no, you can't have ginger hair here. <laughs> this is an odd episode. I don't like it as much yeah. <laughs> as our earlier ones. Let's take a I commercial break. I think we've break. already jumped the shark. No, okay. no, let's take a commercial break and we'll, okay. we'll be right with you. We'll come right back with a complete uh, treatment for the show. Okay. If you aren't lawyers sitting in an office about three years from now, when our new show is a big hit and CBS are trying to get the money out of us, we're not having the idea you think we're having right now. Anyway. So that's it. Okay. Well, let's do that then, I guess. Okay. All right. And let's go on vacation, because... Okay, you know, where should we go? Um, are we married in real life? I forget. I think we've come close a couple of times, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> a weird what do you think it would be like if we? Oh, you were. Well, you're obviously married to somebody, so well, yeah, but we shouldn't even conjecture. But what do you think it would be like? <laughs> if you and I were married? Yeah. yeah. Pretty fun, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good fun. We're both tall. Yeah, well, there you are. That would make for a hilarious show. <laughs> 
that though because I have acted with some real shorties in my life. <laughs> and it's, I know, no I, offense to shorties. I just mean, it's for me, I am always like looking down at people and, and they're like, I really have to. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But you, but you know, everyone's tall now in show business. In their own way? What? I don't know. I'm just, you know, because you know, you're, so you're going to upset somebody by saying, Either somebody might be fat or somebody might be short. People go crazy. Right. All right. Well, shorter than I am. Is that okay? I'm just. I, my TV daughter Mae Whitman is in my dressing room right now, and she's a sh she's a short person, and I love her. Oh no, you shouldn't have outed her. Why? <laughs> it's got to be her decision to say admit she's short. Oh, she's got to come out with yeah. it herself. Yeah, yeah. Is she is she here now? Yes. Should we say hi to her? Yeah, yeah. Can, can, you, can you make it to the stage? She's gonna kill me. How do you come to the stage? Just to measure. Hey. Okay, yeah, come just on, come out come on one second. All right. Well, Are you uh, coming? Are you coming? saying mean things about you being I a heard, shark. Is you know, I heard all about you it. You carry your own microphone? I brought this with me. <laughs> you like Chris Rock. I was You're like, yeah. I, I was right off stage, like, waiting just for, like, a shout-out. <laughs> yeah, not cool. But I you're came from work. I'm in shorts. I am short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's we're Thank you for standing down there. I, I, this helps. <laughs> makes it feel much better. Look, we'll make it even. Hey. Yeah. One big family. You hey. have to put the daughter on the show, oh, right? Oh, she could be our daughter on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you deal with her. I've had it. <laughs> Talented actor, he stars in the Minji. Min, <laughs> Minji. 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 <laughs> hey! Yeah. Boom! Bam! Thank you, guys in the band. You got it. <laughs> he stars in the Minji Project. Tuesday nights on Fox. I'm glad I pronounced that right too. Take a look at this. What are you doing kissing Lauren anyway? I thought, I thought you were gay. I'm not gay. Why would you say that? What do you mean you're not gay? Who's that old guy you were dating that took us out to dinner? That was my father. That was your dad? You guys have a very unreadable chemistry. Look, I know what I did was horrible. And yeah, you've got every right to be mad at me. But I want to see where things go with Lauren. What? I like her. Peter. And yeah, if we date, then people will raise their eyebrows. But look at Woody and Soon Yi. Everybody hated them at first, and now they're America's sweethearts. Ed Weeks, everybody! Ed Weeks! You look great. Thank you so much. I mean, much. you really do. You, you, I mean, you must be at the Pilates or something. You I look... am doing all the pilots. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for having me again. It's, I'm so touched, and I didn't bring you anything, except for my discourse. Well, that's enough. Always a, a chat with the charming gentleman. If you know anything about me, you know that's half the battle. <laughs> uh, also, I'm tall, too. Maybe I could be on your show. Oh, the show that I, for legal reasons, haven't had an idea for? Yes. Yeah. The show that the idea is yet to come. Yeah, yet Ending to come. It'll probably come mm, sometime after Christmas. But... Yes. Yeah, no, I, I think... I could be your tall, English, slightly effete, but very heterosexual boss. Don't you do that already? No, I do do that already. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You know